The head of Nicole, thousands of line workers with Florida Power and Light are preparing to hit the ground once the storm passes to help restore power as quickly as possible. News 6 is Ezzy Castro got a look at the staging at Daytona International Speedway. Florida Power and Light bringing hundreds of line workers to Central Florida ahead of Nicole. FPL crews and trucks were pre-deployed this week, many of them staging here at the Daytona International Speedway. In fact, over a month ago, crews were also deployed to help restore power during Hurricane Ian. FPL says they have 13,000 men and women at 11 staging sites across the state, including here at the Daytona International Speedway, to respond after the storm passes. We understand that a November storm is, is very unusual, and we also know there's a lot of residents who are seasonal, and you know a lot of residents are, are dealing with, with hurricane fatigue from, from Hurricane Ian. But it's very important that everybody takes this storm very seriously. It's a strong storm. Outages are certainly possible. FPL says it will use grid technology to remotely restore power for those who lose it during Nicole. And again, this is just one of the staging sites across the state. Once the storm passes, crews here will be able to go out and restore power to those who need it. In Daytona Beach, as the cash show going to results, you six.